Good morning, evening, afternoon, and all the others to everyone at less than a week, which is just me. I'm the only person doing it. So thank you all for being here. This week I'm showing you the song Read Your Brains. One of the first this is the first Jonathan Colton song I learned, and it's one of my favorites. And it's arguably one of the most popular ones next to all the other really popular ones. So let's get you in tune before we start. Here's my A. Here's my A one more time. Alright, this song's in the key of A minor. There is a key change at one point, but we'll get to that when it comes. So, um, we're going to assume that you're going to want to start this similar to the live version. So, I'll, I'll show you the intro is a little walk down that you might have seen in some of the other songs where it starts with C, then it does a G over B. just like this. A little walking bass line goes for it. So the first chord is A minor. Then you have F. Then you have C. Do the walk down again. A minor again. F. And then G. Now when you do this G, make sure you use your pinky on the high G and your ring finger on the low G because in a second you're going to have to do some hammer-ons to make the C over G chord. This is a very, very frequent use chord in the world of Jonathan Colton, so be prepared to do this kind of change a lot. You're just hammering on with these two fingers. So here's what the whole first section will sound like before uh, that next chord. It's going to be A minor, starting on the A minor. Sometimes I'll grab chords differently, like I'll grab this F by using, doing, fretting it here and then just using my thumb that low F note. Anyways, the next uh, the next chord here is going to be a G sharp diminished chord over F. Very tense chord and it's very good because it leads into the next chord where it just goes to A minor. Then it's going to be A minor over G, or A minor 7 over G. What you're going to do is you're going to take from your left hand, you're going to take your ring finger and plunk that down on that low G while uh, muting the A string. So you have this. And then this might get a little twisty here, but this is how I do it. Is I, this is a, a, a D over F sharp chord here. From, from, from this chord you were at before, all you have to really do here is switch it up like that. So yeah, it's a little, little twisted up, but... However you want to grab it. And G. That's the whole verse, so I'm going to start from that uh, diminished chord. chorus. It's going to start with F, C, E7, A minor. Repeat that again. And then you're going to have F followed by F minor. So I'm going to play the whole pre-chorus. C, G, F, G, and then the 
second time for this F chord, it's just you're going to do a lot of E over E, uh, F over E. So the whole chorus section will sound like this. the bridge it's gonna it's gonna have a similar ending instead of going back to the C after the end of the chorus you're gonna do this it's gonna you're gonna fret this G here by barring it and then you're gonna move up to the fourth fret here by this A flat chord followed by E flat leading into uh, what, I, what I would say this is a B flat diminished over G, leading into a D flat chord and a D flat minor. Back to A flat, E flat, diminished chord, F minor, then C, E7, and then back to A minor play the whole bridge for you. I'll take it nice and slow. Starting from the lead in for the previous chorus. through the whole song for you guys if YouTube gave me more time but instead I'm gonna link you to a video from a performance I played with my band when I was in Columbus back in February and uh, we did the song well me and a couple of the guys from the band did the song and I forgot a lot of the words but uh, we made it through anyway so that'll give you an idea at least of what what it sounds like but um, I mean I'm sure there's a lot of other great videos too of Jonathan Colton performing it that you could watch as well but uh, it's all the same. As long as you can learn how to play it and I can help, that's what matters to me. So uh, send me an email or drop me a message if anything needs clarification, and I'll see you next week. Thanks.